For two decades, Jo Hamilton has fought the post office and only received her final compensation payment three weeks ago. Feeling she had to grovel prolonged the anguish after a wrongful theft conviction. And now renewed anger. Discovering today victims of the faulty Horizon accounting system might be having payouts delayed by the government ahead of the election. This is what we've been up against. Um, the whole thing is, is wicked. The way they've treated the postmasters is disgraceful and it's cruel. People are getting older and they just, you know, as if it hasn't gone on long enough, they're still trying not to pay the group. The claim coming from the man who chaired the post office for a year until being ousted last month, Henry Staunton, alleging in the Sunday Times, early on I was told by a fairly senior person to stall on spend and on the replacement of Horizon and to limp, in quotation marks, I did a file note on it, limp into the election. But a furious reaction to the report from Business Secretary Kemi Bedenock, claiming the man she filed last month lied, saying... Henry Staunton had a lack of grip getting justice for postmasters. The serious concerns over his conduct were the reasons I asked him to step down. That he chose to run to the media with made-up anecdotes and a series of falsehoods confirms I made the correct decision. Labour is demanding answers in Parliament from Miss Badenoch. The biggest problem that many lawyers have come up against is getting information out of the post office. Now, if that's a deliberate process at the behest of somebody in government, that's a very serious accusation. The post office insists the culture that led to one of the biggest miscarriages of justice in British history has changed, backing faster redress for victims. And the government which owns the post office says it has sped up compensation. Does this show the compensation scheme should be taken out of the government's hands? Definitely now after this kind of behaviour. There must be commercial companies that could deal with this. Joe Hamilton's fight for justice was central to the TV drama that galvanised the nation. Her fight goes on, still campaigning as hundreds of post office workers seek exoneration and payments delayed too long. Rob Harris, Sky News, Hampshire.